And welcome back to a very special birthday, who would win, for a Mr. or Mrs. Yaju World, uh, who asked the question, who wouldn't fight Raven from Teen Titans or P.A. from Dra show, let's say Dragon Ball Z, Yu Hakusho? Uh, this is one of those kind of more clear-cut answer ones when you actually know the max potential of each character. But let's go over it. I We should always go over the list of abilities and things along those lines. If I miss something, forgive me. It's been a while, but I, I still know these characters pretty well. Hie is a fire demon born to an ice apparition. Um, and I can't actually remember... If she met a fire demon, I think that's why he was born a fire demon, is because, like, she met a fire demon and fell in love with him and had a child with him. Because I don't, because otherwise, because the, the way they, it's explained, like, in the anime is that she went, she found a man. Is like, wait, did she find a human? Is he a half human? <laughs> um, but as far as we know, that's not the case. Um... So yeah, I believe she must have uh, fought, uh, met a fire demon. So anyway, he is a fire demon, born to an ice apparition. And he is among the strongest characters in the series by the end of the series. I mean, I don't know if he ever truly surpassed Makuro. I think he eventually did. Or Yomi. I don't know about Yomi. Uh, and as far as I know, he never surpassed the use game. But he's probably ranks among, he's definitely in the top 10, if not maybe like the top 6 or 5 strongest characters in this series. Uh, when we first meet him, he isn't that strong, but he does have a couple uh, interesting tricks, including his Jugan eye, which is an artificial third eye implanted into his body. This allowed him, you know, the ability to see through illusions. It allows him, uh, you know, a higher perception, be able to scan and search things to a very fine, um, uh, basis or fine-tuned not basis um to a very uh, small detailed degree it's how he's able to go and look for the the other gem his gem uh it also gives him access to the darkness flames uh ta is a master swordsman he is arguably probably one of the best swordsmen in the series period uh, he is insanely fast. He's known very much for his speed, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yusuke, who's also pretty fast as well. Uh, access Using his Jigan, as I said, he can access the Darkness Flames, allowing him to basically channel these basically Hellfire Flames through either his sword or summoning the dragon itself, the Darkness Flames, to go and incinerate his opponent. He can also summon the Mortal Flames, which are from the human world. Uh, now, the Darkness Flame used to have the drawback of just crippling him when he used it, but he got so powerful that he actually uh, claimed was able to control the darkness flames through enough training, some by learning to absorb the dragon and basically storing the power within him. You know, for years, uh, you know, Master tried to control the black dragon, but I have now controlled dra black dragon because I am the black dragon. <laughs> man, that boy fight, ah, man, that the, I mean, the whole Taguro are a fight uh, between you, uh, Yurameshi and Taguro was still, um, Oh, was was great. I mean, Karam versus uh, Karasu is good. Kubara, uh, Kubara versus Elder the Girl is maybe the weakest fight there, and it's still a decent fight. And obviously, Yusuke versus the Girl, but I always loved Hiei versus Bui because the Bui's design was great. And I, I mean, he kind of loses something when he uh, loses his armor, but he still was an interesting opponent. Just, a, just that scene where it's just like, it's like nothing is, and just nothing stronger than my aura, and just punches he, and he is like, right, <laughs> it just absorbs all the aura. I really would have been interested to see how uh, Ta versus Tagoro would have gone, honestly. But um, uh, yeah, so he and he is also capable of doing many other things, including. Uh, separating his soul from his body so he can survive a near-death uh, hit. He's um, also he's also ex uh, a capable hand-to-hand -hand fighter as well, uh, master of deception if he needs to be, and very just very cutthroat. But he can still be beaten. He's been beaten multiple times. Yusuke beat him out right in their fight. Uh, I can't remember. Actually, he did not lose straight out lose any fight in the dark tournament. Now that I think about it. He beat what was it? Uh, Zero or I can't remember his name, but the uh, the fire apparition from um, Team R Ryukai, uh, the first one, or Ryoku. Oh, anyway, yeah, the first team they fought, the one with Chu. 
and Rinko. Uh, he killed that fire apparition. Uh, and then there was... Actually, yeah, he didn't participate. When you actually break it down, he didn't participate in a lot of fights uh, because he wasn't able to, he wasn't basically allowed to fight in two out of the five fights that he uh, uh, matches that were going on in a tournament. He was absent for the second one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he, he and uh, Genkai were trapped for the third one. And then he ended up killing, I believe, two different guys in the, uh, I can't, I'm actually just struggling to remember their names. A uh, team, I think it began with an I, I can't remember it. Anyway, the one where, um, Shishi, Shishimaru came from, or uh, Shishimakamaru, ah, whatever, <laughs> that guy, where he basically had to fight the guy who could, like, um, adapt to your techniques by transforming. And then he fought Bui. But yeah, he never actually lost a fight in the dark tournament. But he did lose uh, a fight when it came to oh, against Sensui. He went, he did, it went a draw against Yusuke, and they lost ultimately against Makuro. But yeah, it's, he has got a pretty good win record overall, and he beat um, the Ice Apparition again of the same, the of, from the Four Saint Beasts. So yeah, he's um, he's got a cr pretty good win re record overall. The problem here is that when we're talking about Raven, Raven can do some pretty ha messed up stuff in terms of power when she is allowed to fully go on leash. She is the daughter of obviously Trigon, uh, in, uh, in from the, uh, the extra dimensional demon and a human. Admittedly, I um, specifically I believe it was a uh, priestess of Azeroth. Raven was born half is it was born the half demon daughter of human mother Angela Roth and demon overlord Emperor Trigon. She was conceived when her mother ran away uh, from home and joined a cult, then summoned the demon Trigorn, and she was raped. Lovely. Uh, so yeah, and then Raven was born. Raven is an empath. Well, not not exactly. She well she is, but she's it's a little complicated how her powers really work. Um, she, because of her demon blood, she has access to a lot of mental abilities, including astral projection, astral projection, which we already know what that is. You project your soul self somewhere else. She can also manifest her soul self, usually taking the form of a raven, which can uh, basically act as like a doorway to other dimensions, or it can even take on a form of, you know, like I said, the shape of a giant raven and attack and uh, hit an offense. Uh, she can project this darkness out as an offensive attack. Uh, she can travel through dimensions. She uh, is a psionic with mm, very powerful empath empathic abilities. And the power to read, manipulate, or absorb emotions, enabling her to fuel her powers, including force emotions, able to induce emotions on the other people's subconscious. Empathic healing. She's able to absorb the pain of injuries of others, tease their suffering, and induce rapid healing. This cannot be done. It cannot be done to major injuries. However, she can just negate emotions. She has energy projection, which allows her to summon powerful bolts, bolts of energy. Flight, precognition. She can foresee future events. Reality alteration. As a result of her demonic heritage, she's able to alter and warp reality at a whim and destroy an entire city and population and revert it back to normal with ease. She's also once unintentionally created an interdimensional being. Her capabilities are so powerful, it is said that she is capable of destroying the heavens and entire planets. Raven herself said that she could destroy a universe. She's also capable of casting illusions and molecular reconstruction. Uh, she has superhuman durability uh, due to her demon heritage and being able to, um, you know, uh, augment her abilities with her, with her psionic abilities. She's telekinetic and telepathic. Her only real weakness is her, because she's an empath, she has the ability to feel others' emotions, and her powers are reliant on her emotional state. If those emotions get too intense, they will run amok. Yeah, so while he is base, is a planet buster, like, I mean, I, I try not to reference Death Battle too much, because I know a lot of people enjoy death battle but don't think they do the best research or they think or they think they play favorites while i will definitely not argue that they don't think they always do their due diligence when it comes to research or they think they misinterpret some research i always talk about the bleach versus they've done with this um 
uh, to reference that. But that they play favorites, I, I will never agree with that. They have, as far as I know, been actually very unbiased. The only one I will argue that they might have been a little biased by was the Superman versus Goku fight, the second one. Uh, now, granted, they also nerfed Goku pretty hard in that first fight, but regardless, that second fight is where I think they were playing favorites a bit. Other than that, though, I cannot say I've ever thought thought that they played favorites. But the reason I bring up Death Battle is that they did say, or pretty much more or less confirmed that he is a planet buster. He could destroy a planet. He is S-Class by the end of the series. And S-Class demons do have the power to destroy a planet, or at least the Earth. And so, yeah, PA is a planet buster. His attacks are dangerous. They are powerful. But yeah, we're talking about a, a character in Raven who is, by her admission, capable of destroying a universe. But even if that is a high, her being a little too uh, overestimating herself, she is still capable of destroying and just a city on a whim and bringing it back. Creating something is actually a lot harder than destroying something. And if you can do both, you wield a level of power that is not to be trifled with. Add on the fact that she can feed off his emotions. Wipe, uh, you know, he might be able to see through her illusions. But she can easily just uh, get rid of his sword through molecular, uh, molecular, uh, molecular reconstruction. Uh, and if she really wanted to, she could probably just send him to a different dimension. If she wanted to, she could just throw him into space. She could literally burn, uh, like all burn him down to different molecules. This she is she's gone toe to toe with her dad and beaten her dad before in certain alter uh, certain iterations of her character. So it's it really is just a matter of she at her peak. She is a being that he, a, no one in Yu Hong Show should theoretically be able to go up against. At her weakest, he a could pro. That's the thing. If we're talking about her at her weakest, and her at her weakest still means she has a lot of abilities, uh, and all of her abilities are still intact. But it's her with her emotions in flux and not really, you know, capable of using them to their full capabilities. That is a scenario where he actually could get an advantage because he is still fast. Arguably, he might even be faster on the reflexes than she is. Um, but, but my my gut says it would Raven overall takes the win in most scenarios, whether she's in her normal state of emotion at her peak. But again, I think the one scenario you could see he getting a win in is is a weakened raven so i mean if the fight were to break down how would the fight break down so he would most likely be the aggressor in the fight he would see her power she'd see his she'd give him a warning not to you don't it's like go home demon this is not your place it's like i don't really need i uh, you know i don't really uh do well at taking orders so why don't you just go uh, why don't you uh do your uh, take your own advice and leave and you know, she just fires off at, uh, like an energy arm to just grab him, and he like just avoids it. It's like I warned you, and then she just puts up a shield. It's like, Ugh. it's like, all right, fine. And then basically, he's trying to blitz her, but she can just put up an energy shield, basically create, basically, oh, like grab him midair with telekinesis. It's like, what is this? It's like this is, it's like this is enough. And she just you know throws him back. He maybe fires off, uh, you know, fires off an attack maybe with the fist of the mortal blade or even with the dragon of the darkness flame. After she starts using a lot of attacks, the dragon of darkness is extremely powerful, so she does have to use a lot of her power. But she ultimately is able to overcome it. He tries to go all out against her, even absorb the dragon. Uh, but the problem ultimately comes down to if she really thinks she needs to put him down. She will put him down. And no, recognizing him as a demon means she would not probably be worried about killing him. She would probably very much be willing to kill him. So, ultimately, yeah. He, and again, if she really wanted to, she could just disintegrate him at any point. Uh, he might be able to separate his soul from his body, but she can also do things like that as well. She can separate souls from bodies because she's part demon and has uh, psionic abilities that in the ability to manipulate her own soul. So, yeah, unfortunately, I think he just is a little outclassed in this fight. 
That's not to say he wouldn't be a bit of a problem at first, but I think if we're talking about peak Raven versus peak EA, then it's it's Raven all the way. If we're talking about Ra now, if we're talking about Raven at her weakest versus EA at his weakest, it would still be Raven because he at his weakest would be EA <laughs> when we meet him at the beginning of the series, where he's only a D class demon, second from the bottom. Um, and then now, if we're me, and now if we're doing is uh, now if this were Raven at her weakest versus he is peak. That's a that's an argument you can make for he then. I think there are methods to uh, victor, victory for him at that point. But I don't think there are. Uh, I don't think that is the majority of this, of the wins that he would get. I think the majority of the wins go to Raven ultimately. This is just my opinion though. What do you think? We'll put it down in the comments below. But happy birthday. And uh, we'll see you for the next one, folks. Um, the Digimon Partner Series will be out tomorrow. I ran a little late today, so I'll just record it for tomorrow. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Later.